Welcome back, dedicated listeners. Let's dive in. Today's topic is phrasal verbs using the word hold. We are going to practice five of them today. Phrasal verbs cannot be directly translated because their meaning comes from cultural use and not from the meaning of the individual words. Some phrasal verbs have several different meanings depending on the context. Hold on is one of those. Hold on. To hold something tightly to prevent falling. I always hold on to the handrail when I climb the stairs. What else can you hold on to? Make your own sentence. Hold on. To wait. Hold on, James. I'm trying to lock the door. Make your own sentence. And here's another meaning of hold on. To prevent someone from leaving or to keep them safe. During the robbery, Robert held on to his daughter protectively. Hmm, what or who do you need to protect? Make your own sentence. Okay, the second phrasal verb today is hold off. So we had hold on. Now we have hold off. So to hold off is to delay doing something. I'm going to hold off buying a new stove until this one stops working. Hold off. Here's another example. Mike asked for raise in pay, but the company held off all raises until the end of the year. What have you held off doing? Are you holding off doing something right now? Have you ever heard the phrase, don't hold off till tomorrow what you can do today? Okay, the third phrase is hold something off. To hold something off. To prevent an attacker from winning the fight. Anna and her team held the alien invasion off until reinforcements arrived. Or, Godzilla fought viciously and King Kong held him off as long as he could. (laughs) Repeat after me, hold something off. We can also use the phrase hold out in the same manner. Let's switch hold something off with hold out. Listen to the sentences now. Anna and her team held the aliens off until reinforcements arrived. Anna and her team held out until reinforcements arrived. Godzilla fought viciously and King Kong held him off as long as he could. Godzilla fought viciously, and King Kong held out as long as he could. Hold out is a phrase with many uses. Here are other ways to use it. Number one, hold out to extend something in front of you. Mrs. King held out her hand for the prime minister to shake. Tyrone looks at Helen lovingly and holds out a flower. 
what else can you hold out? A stick? A cup of tea? Uh, your coffee at Starbucks? Hold out also means to resist temptation. I'm not supposed to eat bread on this new low-carb diet. I hope I can hold out. Can you resist temptation? If your doctor restricted you from chocolate ice cream, could you hold out? Use hold out in a sentence. The last phrase today is hold something against someone. It means to blame someone for something and refuse to forgive them. Repeat after me, hold something against someone. For example, in high school, Ryan kissed the girl Brian liked and Brian still holds it against him today. Or, the boss's son got promoted even though I was better at the job. I quit the job soon after, but I still hold it against him, even now. What are you still holding against someone? Use it in a sentence. Quiz time! Choose the best phrase. I promised my wife I'd stop smoking for a month. I'm going to try to... 1. Hold on. 2. Hold off. 3. Hold out. The correct answer is... Number three, hold out. I promised my wife I'd stop smoking for a month. I'm going to try to hold out. So which of these phrasal verbs are you most likely to use? Head over to the show website to comment and join the discussion. If you are still here, congratulations. You finished today's lesson. Please remember to like, follow, and subscribe for more content. This podcast is written, produced, and hosted by me, Tiffany Jackson. English Unlocked with Tiffany is available for free wherever you get your podcasts. Transcripts for all episodes and additional language practice can be found at www.englishunlocked8.wordpress.com. See you next time.